Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Porsche Cayman GTS and next to me is an Alpine A110S. And next to that is a Toyota Supra 3 litre. And we're gonna have a drag race. Now, let me tell you about this Porsche. It has a four litre naturally aspirated flat six with 400 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque, driving the rear wheels via six speed manual gearbox. Oh dear, and I'm driving. Now this car weighs in at 1.4 tonnes and it's rather expensive, £65,000, but it is also rather green and lovely. That Alpine, no, I won't call it an Alpine because I don't say Porsche, I say Porsche. I say it like the British people say it, other than British motoring journalists who for some reason pronounce the names of Porsche and Alpine correctly, but every other car manufacturer like Dacia, Renault, Citroën, they say them Dacia, Renault, Citroën. Anyway, enough about that. That Alpine A110S has a 1.8 litre turbocharged petrol engine with 290 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. Drives the rear wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. Now the thing about that Alpine is that it's really light. Well, relatively light. It weighs in at 1.1 tons. Now it's also quite expensive. It's not much less than this actually. It starts at 58,000 pounds. Finally, we come to the BMW Zupra. Sorry, the Toyota Supra. It has a very, very German three litre straight six single turbo engine with 340 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, driving the rear wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter. So it's launch control though. That car costs 54,000 pounds and it's the heaviest one here, 1.5 tons. Will that matter? We'll find out. Now, before we race, I just want to say hi to my friend who's in the yellow car. It's Juani from Juani Mize. Hi Juan, how you doing? I'm perfect, here, uh, thinking that I'm seated in the uh, most beautiful car of this drag race. I agree with him actually. Now you probably thought oh, I was talking about Yanni from Yanni Mize. So it's Juan Francisco Calero from the CarWow Spain YouTube channel and there's a link to that in the description below. If you want to watch this from a Spanish point of view, you probably do if you're Spanish. If you don't, it could just be a load of gibberish, much like this main channel then. <laughs> anyway, now we'll get Yanni back soon, but for now we've got Juani. Right, so, um, yeah, I've forgotten what to do next. Oh, I know, <laughs> I know what to do. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do, and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. The thing else I need to tell you about is the fact that now you can sell your car through CarWow. Yeah, all you have to do is upload some pictures, details, and our dealers will bid on your car, so you should get a really good price for it, and the price they quote will be the price you'll get. No messing around with us. No, no, not like some other places. Also, they'll just give you a bank transfer for your car, and they'll pick it up from a location of your choosing so you could just go to a restaurant and get a little bit drunk and then decide that you can't drive home so you could sell your car someone could pick it up take it away and give you the cash and then you could get a taxi that's stupid anyway if you want to do that at a later date you can simply google help me car wow alternatively click on the pop-out banner now from the link in the description to sell your car immediately because cars are getting a lot at the moment used cars because of the whole chip shortage but that's a different story let's go on with this race Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Before we race, guys, you know what we've got to do? We're going to have to do the customary CarWow sound check. So I'm going to start, and I think I'm going to win this. No problem at all. Soft limits are at five, but on this occasion, I don't mind, because the intake from this car, listen. Oh, the engine's just there. Oh, mid-mountedness. There's no way that Alpine's gonna sound as good as this. Go on, rev up the yellow thing. That's all right, that is. Can we now hear the Supra, please? Which do you think sounded the best? Let me know. Put a pin comment, right? You can vote. Which one do you think sounded the best? Porsche, Alpine or Toyota BMW thingy. All joking aside, I do like the Supra. Anyway, there's one more thing we need to do. Shall we warm up our tyres, guys? Tokyo drift styling. Okay then, Juani Mize, do you want to go and do some showboating? Just like the Cayman, that's got a mid-mounted engine.
Yeah, that's really nice. You've warmed your front outer tire very much. The rest of them are probably going to be quite cold. Have you turned the stability off, Juan? It's off. Let me put the track mode. Yeah, it doesn't want to go, does it? Don't worry, Juan can actually slide cars. Here's a little clip of him sliding uh, a car that you wouldn't think would drift, but it does. Now it's time for me to do mine. It really comes around on you fast with that mid-mounted engine. I think tyres, they'd be warm now. Race shall begin. between me and the Alpine. Not now though. Woo! Porsche came good. Okay, Alpine, you got a nice launch there. You are off like a rocket, a yellow rocket. I didn't expect it. I expected it was slower, but no, it started pretty well. How about you, Superboy? Well, it had real trouble putting this power down, so it was snaking all the way through first gear, got it straightened up in second, but at that point, you had just disappeared, and I couldn't catch the Alpine either. I feel pretty bad. I feel like I've let Japan down. You've let Japan and Germany down, don't forget both countries. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.3 seconds. The Alpine took 12.6 seconds and the Toyota was last, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.7 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race in second gear from 30 miles an hour, because in full sports mode I'm going to count it in. Gosh, this car is pulling just under 3000 RPM at 30. Such a tall gear, this second gear. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice pickup for this natural aspirated engine, but the two turbocharged cars just shot off with that added torque. Can I catch the Alpine? Can I catch the Super? It's going to be close at the half mile. Oh, guys, that was so close. Those two turbocharged cars seem to be right in the torque band, didn't they? And they just shot off. This picks up, the response is really nice from this natural aspirated engine, but it just doesn't have the torque to back it up. You've got to build up the revs, whereas Super, you went, didn't you? Did you understand that? Um, Super, can you sell that again? Because my radio, went a bit crazy. Your voice was like distorted, like you're some kind of kidnapper asking for a ransom. This engine was just riding a wave of torque, second gear, 30 miles an hour, it was epic. And I thought, easy victory, I've redeemed Japan, but then you came back at the end so strong. I mean, that Alpine, it shot off, didn't it, Juan? Job but I came past you and beat you to half mile mark. Juan, how was that for you? Sorry, Matt, I don't hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. How was it for you, Juan? Was it okay? It was really fantastic. I'm surprised with the Alpine. The turbo, as you said, and the dual clutch do a fantastic job. Only by horsepower, finally, you, you won us uh, long meters ago. Not what he said. Let's try something else. Now we're going to do the same thing again, a rolling race. Cars in sports setting, but this time, we're going to roll on from 50 miles an hour in third gear. You ready? Three, two, one, go! A bit different this time. Pick up wasn't so instant on the Alpine. But it's going now. Can I beat him to the half mile? Super's well ahead. I'm going to go past this Supra now, but it's going to take a lot of speed. Oh, that's going to have to go there. So 
so it's not until like 150 that I'm coming past the Supra. Oh. Hey Supra, I tell you what, to the half mile, you with your 500 newton meters just smashed the pair of us. But what was happening after the half mile? That thing just felt like it engaged after burner. I'm really impressed by that, but I am taking that win. Do you know what I did? I did one of those Fast and the Furious things where to go faster, I actually changed down a gear even though I was at maximum revs, you know? I did that and I didn't destroy the engine. It was like special, like, movie stuff. How was it for you, old Juan Imaes? Here I don't have any chance with the speed and power of the Supra. I started faster than you, but when you put the 400 horsepower in line, it's impossible to follow you. It's a question of speed. About 110 miles, your car is rocket launching. Before, you have to struggle with the gearbox, but then you are unbeatable. Thanks for saying I'm invisible. One consolation prize for you, Juan. Your car is definitely the most yellow. And don't forget the lightest too. That might help in the next challenge. Now we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line for emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? We're about to find out. Porsches are normally good at this. They have lovely brakes. Here we go, here comes the line. Told you, <laughs> freaking brilliant. Easy win for the Porsche. Has it won everything? No, it didn't win the rolling races. The Supra did, impressive car. Anyway, I've got a really good deal on one of these cars through Carway. If you want to see what that deal is and what the car is, click on the pop-out banner there, follow the link in the description below. As ever, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. If you're Spanish, check out Juan's channel. It's in the description below. Good old Carware Spain, because if you're Spanish, you can use Carware there too. We'll save you money on a new car. In fact, if you're under that late date, simply Google Help Me Carware, and we'll also help you sell your car as well. Finally, please follow me on Instagram. I'm Matt Watson Cars. It's like voice crack. Matt Watson Cars. It's actually just Matt Watson Cars. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, thanks for watching. No like it. <laughs> if you didn't like it, do that. Uh, write some comments and stuff. Engagement helps algorithm, blah, blah, blah. Click on those windows there for more videos and click on that box there to see how these cars time compare to all the other cars we have timed in the car wide drag races over the years. Thanks for watching.